What's going on YouTube? It's Chris over at Battle Beaver Customs. I wanted to make a quick video uh, talking about the mod sticks. I actually have a guy sent me a Xbox One controller and I'm doing some custom work on it. And you'll see it here at the end. But the mod stick sticks a little bit. And you can see it's kind of sluggish when it returns to center. And I've talked in other videos where the new potentiometers in here, new mechanisms, they are only rated to go 23 degrees either direction. When you get outside your 23 degrees, they'll actually stick. Um, so I'm going to try to see if some stick tension will help with that. It may not, but I have another idea. We'll see if it works. But I wanted to explain the reasoning behind it. You know, we've talked about this a few times. We have the thickness of the center of the pin. I'm trying to do this one-handed today. So a stock Xbox One stick, you're 9.65 millimeters. Okay, that's how they were manufactured to work. What I did with my domed thumbsticks that I make, sorry this is going to get you guys a little dizzy because I'm fumbling one-handed here. It's my domed thumbstick. Shove it in there. So 9.68. It'll tighten up just a little bit. 8.90. So I don't know if that's quite calibrated, but they're about 9 millimeter. There is some mold shrink in there sometimes. So 8.9. And then what we have on these mod sticks, I'll show you the problem here. These mod sticks, if we clamp them down again, I'm not being very precise. My engineering guys are here going to kill me. 6.0. So here we got 6.0. Drastic decrease in thickness. On Microsoft, out of the box, your movement here, I want to say they're at 25 degrees, 26 degrees. They're not quite getting the full potential of the potentiometer out of here. Um, so with my thinner one, you get that full range of motion, opens it up a little bit. A little bit more control, better aiming, you know, more movement to go on there, not having a jack rotor sensitivity to get it straight. So that's been my advantage. Mod sticks went a little extreme and they made it too wide. So we're going to see if we can't help them out a little bit, give them some ideas, and then we'll be back. All right, guys, got the modifications done to this controller. It's kind of a unique one. Um, the guy asked that I relocate his L3 and R3 to the top. This is a little bit easier to hit. Uh, some personal things there. But so that's what those weird goofy bumps are. But again, about the mod sticks, I went ahead and tightened up the thumbstick tension here. It makes them feel better because the aluminum is a heavier thumbstick, so it does kind of balance out having more spring tension in there to get some resistance. But we still get the sticking. Again, it's because it's going outside of that 23 millimeter range. What I had done. See the difference here. I took one of my thumbsticks, drilled out a hole on the inside, and put it on the mod stick, making it a nine millimeter, just like my sticks. Keeps it from sticking. Still get the weight and the feel that you get from the aluminum mod stick, but all you do here is push that mod stick. This is just my little homemade spacer I made. Uh, Hopefully mod stick will jump on and make a little aluminum one. Just take that, pop it on. Screw your cap back on. And then there you go. It'll still function better than stock and it'll get the job done, keep it from sticking. And if you don't like it, you can always take them out. Thanks for watching this video, guys. If you have any questions or really want to get something like that made for your controller, let me know. And again, I welcome any challenge, even if it's moving buttons to the face of the controller. Talk to you next time, guys. Visit us at BattleBeaverCustoms.com or Facebook.com slash Thank you.